and welcome. Silvio is the first Alfa Romeo that's also an SUV, but uh, Stelio wasn't created as a one-off. It was designed as part of a big family, the Giorgio family. Giorgio is also the name of the platform, the ar architecture that's already been used for all the Giulia versions. It's a platform that's been developed to deliver the highest level of performance, emotions, and control to all the new Alfa Romeo models. Let's start by having a look at the main differences between Giulia and Stelvio. Let's start with their size. Stelvio's ride position has been raised by 120 millimeters to have a better ride position uh, that's typical of an SUV. We also increased the wheel radius by 35 millimeters and increased the suspension ride by further 35 uh, millimeters. And in this way, Stelvio not only is very nimble on off-road uh, tracks, it also offers this greater ground clearance. And then compared to Julia, the front track has been widened by 54 millimeters and the rear track uh, has been uh, widened by 29 millimeters so as to assure an extremely stable and balanced setup. The wheelbase uh, is the longest in this class and it's the same as Julia's. The mechanical architecture is the same as Julia's too and this provides uh, the uh, premises uh, for obtaining uh, the outstanding dynamic performance Julia provides. The roll gradient uh, as we see here, is by far the lowest in this class and it is very similar to Julia's as we see. It's actually even better than most of the sedan models. And the subjective perception of the motion of the car that the driver feels is also identical to Julia's. But how is this possible? Well, because um, we kept the same uh, driver's position uh, with respect to the vehicle roll axis. And this means a driving experience that matches that of a sporty saloon. And in our opinion, it's an experience that's absolutely unique on this class of vehicle. And let's now instead describe the car and let's start from its uh, styling. Compared to its uh, premium segment to competitors, Stelvio stands out first and foremost for its style. Here, the style has been driven by its outstanding proportions, so much so that total length being equal, the longer wheelbase and the front overhang that's very short have meant that our designers have succeeded in delivering a sleek, original look. And then we have the rear profile with a long rear overhang emphasizes the appearance of a sporty saloon perfectly matching design elements and aerodynamic specifications so much so that uh, Stelvio has a drag coefficient to just under 0.3 making it here to best in class. And then the long wheelbase also delivers record space both for passengers in the rear and for luggage. Spaciousness metrics are top of this class and headroom for the driver and front passenger is absolutely best in class. The trunk volume is 525 liters, very easy to use because it's a regular luggage space and it's very accessible because of the low loading floor height and also thanks to the electrically powered hatch door. Now let's move into the car's living area. 
By now we all know that uh, the design of Alpha interiors emphasizes the driver's position at the very heart of the car. And just as for Julia, the diagonal tunnel and the curved dashboard wrap around the driver and define his or her space. The position of all the controls, moreover, has been defined by clear ergonomic rules and on the Stelvio 2 we have limited uh, the number of uh, man-machine interactions uh, to a minimum to avoid useless distractions. Infotelematic equipment is uh, the same as what uh, you'll find on Julia. We have uh, Alpha Connect uh, the system with 3D navigation, an 8.8 inch display screen and digital radio system. And then multimedia content is totally comparable to the best of Stelvio's competition. Let's have a better and more detailed look now at the mechanical specs of Stelvio. It's heart, it's backbone, and naturally, it's brain. For Stelvio, as for any Alfa Romeo, it's the engine that is its vibrant heart and Stelvio has a totally new all aluminum engines that were specifically designed for the Alpha lineup and before the rollout of the V6 engine that will become available towards the end of the year we currently have two four cylinder engines available one is a diesel the other is a gasoline unit power outputs range from 180 uh, to 200 horsepower for the 2.2 multi-jet diesel and from 200 to 280 horsepower for the 2-litre gasoline uh, engine. The 2-litre uh, gasoline unit, 4-cylinder uh, unit, comes with multi-air valve actuation and direct uh, injection, uh, high-pressure direct injection, uh, pressure up to 200 bars, and a twin-scroll turbocharger to increase uh, uh, turbo response time and uh, engine elasticity at low revs. The engine reaches maximum torque uh, around 2,000 revs and keeps constant up to 5,000 revs, ensuring top performance as well as low fuel consumption and emission levels. The 2.2 litre diesel engine is the first all aluminum engine for Alfa Romeo. Both cylinder head and cylinder block are aluminum. And it comes with a second generation multi-jet 2 uh, with injection rate shaping uh, and pressures up to 200 bars. It also has a, a variable geometry turbocharger that's been designed to uh, cut uh, response time to a minimum maximize efficiency. As we see from the torque and power curves, it is an outstanding engine in terms of its consistent and constant uh, delivery and also because it ensures very uh, low fuel consumption precisely because of this uh, consistent and constant uh, delivery. All our engines are coupled with uh, an eight-speed automatic transmission.